How yeah. much is that? I don't know, that's pretty sentimental. I, I, I'll have to... <laughs> <laughs> Good, how's it going? Pretty good. Awesome. Is your bag and wallet? Um, I think it said four for the bag and wallet. Four dollars for your bag and wallet. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you. But we're willing to negotiate. Well, thank you. Would you take five for them with the bracelet? Yep. Thank you. I ended up grabbing a couple more, so. That's fine, fine for all of it. Well, thank yep. you, I appreciate that. You're welcome. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing wonderful, how are you? Fabulous. Good. You look like you're on a mission. I am, I'm out yard sailing. <laughs> <laughs> How much are your planters? There's, those two are 75 cents a piece, I believe. Oh, cool. Do you mind if I put them down? I'm going to grab them. Where would be a good... Can I just pop them there? Right there. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. You're Oh yeah. Put a plastic bag in it, buddy. Got you, yeah. That's cool. Hello, how are you? Great, thank you. How about you? Very well, thank you. You don't sound like you're from around. I'm not originally, I'm from England. I know, how not I just I've been here ten years and still holding on to the accent. Yeah, still got it. Well, that's all right because it's beautiful. Oh, well, thank you very much. Those are uh, $2. Oh, cool. Is, would this one $2 as well? $2. Okay, awesome. I'm going to put them in my pile. Thank you. Okay, okay. Those uh, two little planters, little shelf things are 75 cents. That's so good. I'll just make a pile and you can tell me how much you want. Really? <laughs> we'll load her up. There you go. Have y'all been busy? Yesterday was real busy. Well, good. It's a lot of work, so. I know. And I don't get paid anything. Right there and oh sure. Them, add it well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad the rain's staying off for you.
Oh. 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 He's cool. How fun. Like the two bugs. Okay. Thank you. Okay, awesome, thank you. Those were cool yesterday. Oh, were they? Like a diffuser. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, does it? Oh, fuck. this oh oh that's cool this is a good way to get your kids started saving some money yes like <laughs> sorry <laughs> you just have a padlock on it yes and I, I connected the chain. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So that it just wouldn't hang loose. Mm-hmm. It's on there somewhere. Right there. Oh, yeah, like the little hook. Yeah. Okay. So if you take that off, you pull the chain out. Oh, okay. And it, it goes through the metal thing, and then the cap will come off. Oh, so right. So it's kind of a security thing. So. That's cool. How yeah. much is that? Oh, that's pretty sentimental. I, I, I'll have to... <laughs> A dollar. A dollar. <laughs> yeah. uh, two dollars. How's that? Yeah, I can do that. That's I've never seen anything like it. So, thank you. All right, I think I'm ready. Okay. Let you count me up. Nine dollars. Absolutely. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're I'm fine. Thank up. you. No, yeah, no, no, you're fine. These are old, so. All right. That'll work. Perfect. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, you guys, welcome to the haul. So here's what I picked up at today's yard sales. 
I'm going to start down here with like the simple stuff first. This was all from one yard sale and um, I paid $5 for the Cavu bag, the Cavu wallet and the three newer tags, Lily Pulitzer bangles. So not bad at all for $5. The bag I think I can probably sell anywhere from like 20 to 25 just because it has a little bit of like fading and scuffing to it. Um, the wallet I imagine I might be able to get sort of like 15 or so for. And then I think what I'm going to do actually, because these don't sell super good by themselves, is I think I might just lot these all together. Um, and maybe ask like 20 or 25 for those all right and then this is a really fun yard sale like super eclectic lots of like neat little vintage pieces which i really really enjoy and i got quite a few cool wallets as well which is again is something i really like to sell mostly because they're easy to photograph they're easy to store and they're super easy to ship and they sell really well for me on etsy and actually on poshmark as well so uh, back here we have a vintage winnie the pooh um like a honeypot shelf i couldn't find anything exactly like this but there was one listed that was quite similar and they were asking around 30 dollars. so i think that's kind of where i'm gonna go like 25 30 plus shipping for this and um, this i have no idea if i should have grabbed this or not um i don't see them very often and they're obviously for keeping like little knickknacks and stuff i do believe this one is vintage as well Ooh. I don't know. Um, I should probably say as well that I paid $9 for everything in total from this yard sale. So we just kind of threw this in the pile. Um, these little guys. So I swore a long time ago that I would stop picking up vintage planters. <laughs> I did that a long, long time ago and they never sold very well for me. However, in my defense, I didn't usually find them in this particular style. Usually they were things like, I don't know, like a horse with a cart maybe or... I don't know just not as kitschy basically and that's like a keyword i'm gonna lean on for these is like mid-century kitsch i happen to think that they're really cool so we have like this little lamb guy and we have this like little sort of like 50s vibing poodle i don't know i was super drawn to them they're not in perfect condition by any stretch of the imagination they were 75 cents a piece i'll let you know how they do i may once again go back to not picking them up but what can I say? They just spoke to me. Okay, and then in terms of wallets, so this, I have no idea why I threw this in. Actually, I do. It was from 2001. And sometimes these little, like, weird, quirky vintage things new in the pack, like Deadstock, can do really well just in an unsuspecting way. Um, there is absolutely no comparables for this anywhere. I don't know that it actually matters to anyone, like leashables. Um... I don't know, I may list it just for a kick, we'll see. I, but I literally grabbed it just because it was new old stock. Okay, and then I have four vintage wallets right here. This one I thought was super cool. So it's almost like a sort of like tapestry or like a carpet bag style. And then inside it's all leather and it's like really, really kind of like weathered, you know, very, very like worn in style leather, a little like coin purse here just thought it was really cool this kind of thing sells to me on etsy and actually on poshmark as well all day long for around sort of 20 to 25 so that's really a no-brainer to pick up when it's only like a buck or so next i grabbed two leather pieces these are i guess embossed is that the word that i would use i don't know i'm gonna have to do some research we have this like cute little sort of 70s style butterfly one and it has the same design on the inside. I can get this like sticker residue off here. Um, and then I'm guessing this is where you would like hang your keys and stuff. But again, all leather, really, really cute. This one again is all leather. Just picked it up just basically because of the style. This will still sell for me for around $20 on Etsy. They've been consistently selling for me for the last sort of like five years on there. So I always kind of pick them up. And then the last one is kind of like an oversized one, definitely has more of like an 80s, 90s vibe, but I picked it up because uh, it has the little kiss lock purse inside as well. And then it also has all of the original like cards and things inside, like all of the, um, I don't know, tags and whatnot. And a dead giveaway as well is when they have things like this, where it's like meant for checks because people don't really carry checks anymore. So that's going to tell you that something is older, but you can kind of see in there all of the like branding and stuff. So since it was pretty much new without tags, that kind of uh, dead stock thing going on again, I decided to grab it and give it a whirl. All right, you guys, thank you for coming along with me today to the yard sales and garage sales. If you enjoyed it and you like yard sales and flipping stuff online for a profit, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, then don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell notification so you can come along to yard sales with me again. Again, if you're looking for a friendly Facebook group, then feel free to come and join ours, Thrift Nice. We're our lovely bunch and you're very welcome to come and join and get to know more people in the community. And lastly, you'll find a link to my Teespring store down below as well with lots of fun reseller and thrifting themed merchandise. T-shirts, face masks, funny packs, we have it all so you can thrift in style. All right, you guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.